Hello everyone. In this lesson, we are going to talk about verb difficulties. Usually, passive voice is used in verbs when the action is mentioned with a passive verb. For example, the book was stolen in the recess. But sometimes, some verbs such as sell, read, prove, etc. can be used in the active voice while having a passive meaning. Example, the hill doesn't show in the mist, meaning the hill can't be seen. More examples. This store sells candy is an active voice. Candy is sold in the store is in passive voice. She read us the story. Active voice. The story was read to us by her, passive voice. My dad dropped me off, active voice. I was dropped off by my dad, passive voice. The casserole cooked in the oven. The word cooked is syntactically active but semantically passive. Free beer doesn't sell. Here, doesn't sell means it's not sold. Permanent job proves an elusive dream. Here, proves mean is proven to be. It reads like a novel. Here, reads means is read. Other verbs with passive meanings are shown in these examples. This meat smells. I won't eat it if I were you. The fish tastes good, I presume. That dress fits you very well. Or that dress suits you very well. He lacks confidence. The auditorium holds 5,000 people. That dress becomes you. Tom married Mary. The price increased. The window opened. The door closed. The cookies baked. The river froze. The glass broke. The twig bent. The top spun. The road widens. The marble rolled. John resembles his father. Confusion between some transitive verbs and intransitive verbs with similar meanings. 很多學英語的同學面對的問題就是動詞和名詞之間需不需要加上一個前置詞,即是preposition。要解決這個問題,就查字典的時候,你可以留意這個動詞應該是transitive verb, 亦或是 intransitive verb. Transitive verb 呢,就不需要加個前置詞嘅. Intransitive verb 呢,就一定要. 另外呢,動詞嘅唔同嘅解釋,亦都會影響佢係一個 transitive verb, 亦或是 intransitive verb 嚟嘅喎. Here's a list of some commonly used transitive and intransitive verbs that students often confuse in the usage. Number one, reach is a transitive verb. Arrive and get are intransitive verbs. Examples, the travelers arrived at the destination earlier than they had expected. The students arrived home later than usual yesterday evening. This one is wrong. The students arrived at home later than usual yesterday evening. The at should not be there. Number two, discuss is a transitive verb. Its meaning is similar to to talk about. Example, we shall discuss the matter later. We shall talk about the matter later. 當我們討論事情的時候, 一般就是用 discuss 或者 talk about 
嘅表示。由於 discuss 係一個 transitive verb， 所以咧前置字 about 係多餘嘅。但係當我哋同另外一個人一齊討論事情嘅時候咧，就用個 with。譬如你講 ，to discuss something with someone。Number three, wait, wait for a wait。由於 wait 係 intransitive verb， 同名詞使用嘅時候，應該同時使用一個前置詞。譬如你講 ，I am waiting for Peter。而 a wait 同 wait for 咧，佢嘅意思係相近嘅，但係 a wait 咧。係而家個 transitive verb 唔能夠同前置詞一齊使用。Number four, listen, listen to。聆聽事物應該以 listen to something 嚟表示，前置詞 to 唔可以省去嘅。例如 listen to music, listened to what he said。Number five, consider, think about。consider 已經包含咗考慮嘅意思，所以 about 呢個前置詞其實係多餘嘅。如果你一定要用前置詞咧，可以用 think about 嚟代替。For example，I can consider your suggestion， or you can say I can think about your suggestion。Number six，oppose is a transitive verb，object to has a similar meaning。For example, I'm afraid the boys will oppose the proposal. Or you can say, I'm afraid the boys will object to the proposal. Number seven, investigate, transitive verb, similar to look into. For example, the government promised to investigate the case. Similar meaning. The government promised to look into the case. Number eight, answer is a transitive verb. Similar meaning to reply to. For example, the student answered my letter. Similar in meaning to, the student replied to my letter. Note the following. Compare the two below. He could not restrain herself. Or himself from making that remark. He could not refrain from making that remark. Also compare the following. He stole the money. A city university student robbed a shop last week. The shop was robbed by him using a toy gun. The man robbed the woman of her money. The woman was robbed of her money, but the following is wrong. He robbed the woman's money. You can say all of these, which are correct, but you cannot say he robbed someone's money. Task one: Complete these sentences with the given words. Stop the video while you work on it, and when you finish, resume play, and the answers will be displayed. Here are the answers. Number one, the latest issue of the magazine contains an article which interests me very much. Number two, in the six-car power-up in the Cross Harbour Tunnel yesterday. The driver suffered severe injuries. Number three, the workers on strike demanded higher wages. Number four, the police are looking into the case. Number five, the police are searching for the man believed to be involved in the holdup. Number six, prices are soaring as a result of inflation, which has affected the whole world. Number seven, he found it difficult to handle the situation because he lacked experience. Number eight, the woman regretted her past mistakes. Why do we say it this way? Because if you want to pair up regret with the word for, we say felt regret for. In this instance, regret is a noun. 
Task 2. Rewrite the sentences by following the instructions given in brackets. Task 2 is displayed across two screens. Stop the video to work on the first screen and when you've finished, resume play to display the second screen. This is screen 2 of task 2. Stop the video to work on it and when you've finished, resume play and the answers will be displayed. Here are the answers. Number 1. He admitted breaking the window. He confessed to breaking the window. Number 2. Owing to the heavy rain, the football match was cancelled. Owing to the heavy rain, the football match was called off. Number 3. They have decided to postpone the meeting until next week. They have decided to put off the meeting until next week. Number 4. We must take this possibility into account. We must consider this possibility. Number 5. He did not agree with my proposal. He objected to my proposal. Number 6. She had a bad headache last night. She suffered from a bad headache last night. Number 7. My mother visited the neighbours last night. My mother called on the neighbours last night. Number 8. Her sudden illness increased our problems. Her sudden illness added to our problems. Number 9. It is impolite of you to interrupt the conversation. It is impolite of you to break in the conversation. Number 10. She is very interested in computer games. Computer games interest her. Exercise. Rewrite the following sentences by following the instructions given in brackets. Once again, stop the video while you work on the exercise and then when you've finished, resume play and the answers will be displayed. Here are the answers. Number one, I approved of your proposal. Number two, the fireman extinguished the fire in 20 minutes. Number three, his speech in the assembly impressed us deeply. Number four, they requested me to be present at the meeting. Or, they requested my presence at the meeting. This is the end of the lesson. Goodbye.